it was out at a time when trailers were only really sort of seen on a big screen. We didn't have access to the sort of things that we do like YouTube now. So I think all I had seen was a poster for this and probably a listing in the cinema section. Yeah, in see, people forget back in our day. Do you know where I got to know, we got to know more about f- films coming out, posters and the cardboard cutouts in the yeah. cinemas. It, it, it sounds so bizarre talking yeah. about that now. Can you but... imagine it listening off? We went to see a film with no trailers, no reviews online, because there no. was no online. No. All we had No was spoilers a... on Twitter. No spoilers. All we had was a title... And the names of the cast on a poster. Yes. Um, I've watched the trailer since, and it's really, really good. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> the trailer's really good. Um, but me and Liam were just, like, 18 when we went to see this on in the old Odeon on London Road, which no longer exists. And I don't know if you remember this, it was the, probably the smallest screen I've ever been in. I only d- had about 20 rows. I do remember. It, was like, it, was, it felt like we were in a little bit of a cupboard behind... And when we mentioned it, when we when when we have spoken about it recently, is I seem to remember there was a bit of a weird couple. There was also <laughs> this weird couple, uh, and I don't know the context why we thought it was weird. I just as soon as you reminded me that we went to see this on the road, I was like, was there a weird couple in the crowd? And you were like, I think there was. And I think there was only about ten people in there, but it it just I said it before. It just reminds me of a time where less was more. Because you would go to a film with no idea what was going to happen. I'm, I'm not surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if actually it was previously porn cinema or something. I swear it was <laughs> even in the back room. 